hey everyone uh, in today's video we are again going to talk about zigbee software uh, a little bit with automation so in the last videos what we have focused to do is like we have uh, learned how do we install zigbee software on a send os system and we also integrated a zigbee software with the call manager and unity connection and we did a uh, test out the loot uh, testing and we also learn like how do we make calls from cp softwares to the cp software to uh, the endpoint or the unity connection call handler or any other number right so in today's video what we are going to do is we are going to little bit uh, see how can we utilize cp software in terms of uh, real time use cases so let's say you have a uh, organization with a um, contact center environment now people generally call from outside of the world uh, and dial in the contact center numbers from the pst line from the outside and uh, reach out to the customer care service now let's say the business operation starts um, your local time uh, 6 a.m in the morning right so now you either need to assign someone uh, look um, if, if the number is very critical right so you need to assign someone uh, locally or remotely uh, who can uh, test those numbers every day so that uh, we need to make sure like the numbers are functional if in case if there are is any issues right the person can proactively uh, you know uh, troubleshoot and fix the issue related to the circuit or to the line now if there are most of the time what we do is we get reactive cases stating that uh, this number is not functional or this particular circuit is has gone down so those are most of the times it's reactive and then um, until unless you do a uh, real-time monitoring on those circuits right so uh, those most of the time it is reactive and then we work with the you know service provider and fix the issue and for certain duration right the circuit can be down now what we can do is like uh, we can uh, set up the sick piece of server in such a way like um, let's say your uh, operation starts every day 6 a.m in the morning let's say uh, what it will do is every day 5 a.m in the morning this sick piece of server so uh, server will dial up the pst number of your customer care uh, line number uh, hotline number and the call will come from the pst and hits your gateway and gateway to your call manager and call manager to your contact center environment if the call is connected then sigp will assume that the call is successful if the call is not connected right cp server, server will tell you okay uh, the the server is not functional and will send you an email stating that um about the status whether the call was successful or not right and once you um, you will always most of the time monitoring your email when you're working right so you will notice like on the email like the call has failed now you can uh, immediately you know look into the message and uh, jump uh, uh, with the service provider and fix the issue right because you have got this mail around 5 a.m in the morning and you will you can work with the service provider and get it fixed as soon as possible so there can be uh, another instance let's say you have um, um, let's say 10 uh, different sites for example now you want to monitor the circuits or the you know even even lines of those circuits of the SIP uh, connectivity right uh, with the service provider and make sure all the numbers that are that are associated with the SIP service provider or uh, uh, let's say the contacts uh, let's say the 10 p e one d one circuits are functional so you can take uh, one number each from each of the gateways or each of the service uh, provider and test those numbers uh, with an incoming call and see if those calls are uh, working fine or not so let's assume uh, for example <clears throat> there's a number uh, plus nine one eight zero one zero ten thousand just just a random number not specific to anyone any organization just a random number let's say this is the pst number that uh, people call to dial and reach out to the uh, contact center uh, executive or contact center uh, ivr now how this comes is like somebody is dialing the call will either hit a pst in gateway on your organization or maybe a sip uh, gateway or sbc right when the call connects to the sip uh, sbc or gateway the call is sent to the call manager and call manager further uh, you know sends the call to the ivr um, from the contact centers um, you know usx or uses what contact center environment you are using it sends a call to the ivr 
now uh, when uh, you get this call right uh, so when the call is connected when there is a duration in that call you know uh, that the call is answered and that's how you will treat the call is successful in case if let's say the call is not answered and the call is not connected that time you will have to you know uh, basically uh, understand that this call is a uh, fail and uh, you might have to look into this why this call is failed maybe it's an issue with the service provider or it's in it's an issue with your you know uh, on-prem uh, devices maybe the uh, link is down maybe the user six is not functional whatever the reason is right so so you basically uh, you know uh, can um, like let's say put this number in uh, the cp software what cp software will do is you can basically uh, force the call uh, going from your call manager to your local gateway and local gateway it will send the call to the service provider and the service provider will send the call back to your local gateway and to your call manager and the contact center environment right so this is basically going to be a kind of uh, you know uh, you're forcing the call to go out and come in from the pstn and you're testing the pstn circuit and also testing uh, the ivr circuit as well right so this can uh, this can be an another scenario where you can uh, do your testing so now coming back to the automation tool that we have uh, that i have designed today right so what i'm going to do is i am going to uh, show you like how exactly it is working so if you see here like this there are three numbers which i have uh, defined here 10,012. so I, i'm not sending the call to the pst i'm just sending the call within the call uh, organization if in case if there is a requirement to send the call out of the pst and come back in i can do that as well but at this moment my only intention is to route the call internally and see how does it behave and how do you get the message right now what i've done is i've created total three lines so user a user b and user c so whatever your number you see user a this number is not valid so which means this number is not a valid number this number is not configured anywhere in the call manager now the second number what you see 10002 so this is uh, a cp number so if i have to enable this i'll just go and enable this so this is going to be my micro um, uh, number and 10049 is a number that is configured as an um, you know direct routing rule on the unity connection so whenever someone dials 10049 the call will go to the unity connection in the hits the ivr so what i'm going to do is i am going to show you uh, I, I have uh, you know um, i have uh, configured the cp software in such a way like it will dial these numbers every five minutes so you can of course custom customize this you can dial every five minutes every 30 minutes one hour six hours 12 hours every day every month every week uh, you can customize this of course so now what i have done is i have uh, designed this in such a way that this is going to make a call every five minutes now this cp software will make a call the call will land here and it is going to you know further first test whether 10012 is a valid number or not if in case if it is not a valid number it is going to tell you like this is not a valid number or this number is not found 10002 if the 10002 answers the call it will say the call answered otherwise it will say like uh, if the phone is unregistered it will say 404 not found because the phone is unregistered and if the call does not go to the voicemail of course in case of 10049 as this is a call handler so this is going to be uh, answered all the time so whenever you make a call to 10049 it is going to uh, say you as okay 10049 uh, the call is answered right so let's uh, see the scenario so what i've done is i'm not uh, showing you any of the um, cli uh, view as such so what i'm going to show you is i'm going to show you my outlook where we will get an email every five minutes okay so i have made some changes on my uh, cp server so it should uh, send the call every minute instead of five minutes because uh, to demonstrate this for every five minutes i have to wait for a longer duration for every calls to open and every test to be done right so i've uh, instructed cp software to make the calls every one minute and send me the report so let's open so let me do one thing let me clear out all the previous reports uh, so that uh, you're not confused so let's wait for uh, a minute time to over i see i just got another email just now so it looks like uh, the report has run so it says like a uh, please find touch automation report and regards uc collabing since it has gone to junk so i have to fix that uh, in the mail server why it is going to junk but anyways uh, so if you look here the the automation uh, mail or the it contains two type of messages 
so one is your zip uh, messages and one is your cdr call logs so let's open the cdr call logs here so if i have to make this bigger so if you see here it says like from user a so if you notice like the first call was from user a 10012 uh, sorry uh, user a and the call was to 10112 uh, so the user a made a call to this particular ip address and this was uh, the extension that we type and if you notice like after that like first we get the from information along with the tag then we get the to information along with the tag and then we get the date and time okay don't worry about the date and time this is uh, on a running on a future uh, past date because i've not rebooted the server for a long time and the server time is not up to date up or in sync and we got this as 404 not found the reason why we get this as 404 not found because this number is not configured on the call manager next thing it dialed was uh, from user b it dialed to 10002 and this was the time what it took to uh, when it dialed and this number is also says as not 404 not found because this number i have uh, running this micro sip in um, app disk uh, or ton of the extension services for 10012 that is the reason the phone has not rang on this number and there is no voicemail set up for this 10002 hence the call did not go to the voicemail hence it says like 404 not found now for the user c this guy dialed uh, 10049 10049 is a call handler and the call was connected and this was the time that when it dialed and the call was answered if you see right so what i am going to do is i'm going to close this uh, log here let's refresh i might have got one or two uh, emails as, uh, by now so let's update and what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn on 10002 services for now so now 10002 is turned on or the extension is online right so whenever the next uh, run will happen so i'll get a call on my um, zip phone let's see so let's update this the mail server is a little slow and it uh, sends a message a little uh, late as well or little late in the sense uh, there's some issues uh, in the freeware mail server actually i would say i'll i may get like uh, two or three more messages or one or two or more mails by now at the same time let me see so what i'll do is i'll keep on refreshing okay if you see i already got an email two more, yeah, three more emails and i'm getting a call right now so what i'll do is i'll decline this call now as you know i have declined this call so i should be getting a uh, call uh, a, a mail stating that this call was declined and uh, 486 busy here something like that so what i'll do is i'll delete these three uh, mails so let's wait for the latest and the latest one So in the latest email, so the first should be 404 not found, second should be 486 busy, and third should be a call answered. Let's see. Okay, uh -huh. this is the second instance of uh, the call. Okay, I didn't land that call. So I'm still waiting for the email to come in. So as I said, like uh, my email is a freeware server and this server uh, is uh, sends the mail a little slow. Uh, so let's wait for the mail to come in. It is still synchronizing uh, the folders. So let's wait. What I'll do is I'll pause the video for now till the synchronization is happening. Okay, so look like I have got an email. So what I'll do is I'll drag this to the inbox and let's open that. Okay, further uh, there are there is one more email uh, which was I forgot to delete. Okay, so this was the old email. Now this is the latest email which I got at this time. So let's open the CDR. Now let's read. So the first was as we expected, 404. Let me decline this call as well. And the second was a 486 busier because I dis I uh, declined the call. And the third was obviously the call was answered because it was a call handler. 
right so what i'll do is i'll wait for the next iteration when the call comes in i'll answer the call on my 1002 sip phone so in that case when the report comes in one should be 404 not found and two should be called answered let's see meanwhile i'll delete these two emails so that we are not confused Let's wait for the for one minute to complete and let the call come in. So I get the call. I answer. Don't worry about this voice. This was a part of the testing. So you get here a um, audio file. Now what I'll do is I'll update the folder again. Um, okay. So this time the call is immediate. The mails are immediate. So let me push it to the inbox and now let me open the CDR. So if you look, oh, this is still the old email, I believe. So for it is busy here is still the old email. So the one more email should come. So I think this is the old email which has triggered just now. So let's wait for the final email. Okay, so if you notice here, right, I get all the old emails now, uh, like they were um, um, uh, kept on my server and server queued it up and did not send it to me. So let me push this now. Let me open the latest one. So I'll open this file. So let's see. So now. For the first one, as we expected, 404 not found, and for the second one, as we expected, call answered, and the third one is as we expected, call answered. So this is how uh, we can, you know, uh, test or uh, we can get uh, email uh, on every day basis. Uh, how the calls are like? Uh, are they working fine? Is there any issue with the circuits, or uh, the calls are? So I'm sure this is a very, this can be very useful in the production system, and uh, I'm going to test do more test level of testing in uh, uh, this automation uh, that I have built, right? And there can be some scenarios which I have not tested, and uh, those scenarios might or might not work, and they can be absolutely and they can be fixed, and this can be a good product to you know uh, get uh, a solution like uh, automation uh, tool testing which will give you a result and send the result to you over an email so that you can relax and you can get to know the status of the circuits or status of the numbers that you wish to you know um, look for i hope uh, you find this informative uh, thank you for watching.